Hi everyone, Aiden here with eTrailer. Today we're taking a look at the Hollywood Rack's Destination e-bike rack on our 2020 Kia Sorento. Now this is going to be a platform style rack that holds the bike in these trays and by our frame up top. Frame contact is going to mean we want to avoid our carbon frames, but these clamps do rotate 360 degrees and can adapt to those alternative frames. In addition to this, there's a 70 pound capacity per bike, so it's gonna be good for some of those heavier e-bikes too. What really makes this rack stand out though is the ease of use. Things like tilting the rack away with bikes loaded to get hatch access and loading and unloading are gonna be exceptionally easier than other e-bike racks out there and just compared to other racks. We'll check out the tilting first. To do that, there's just a simple hand knob near the pivot point that we can loosen up and then just push out of the way. And from there, because of where the weight's all centered, it's really easy to just push the whole rack away, almost a full 90 degrees. You can do it without the rack coming down on top of you, so you're in a much more comfortable position right here, and it's easier to do, too. Now we've got access to the back of our vehicle, so if we need to get something out of the back, we can, or it just gives us a good place to sit down, change our shoes before or after a ride. There's plenty of room in here to do that, and we don't have to unload the bikes to do it. Then, whenever you lift it back up into place, it's just as easy. All that weight is really well centered, so it doesn't take much effort to do. Comparing it to something like the Yakima on-ramp, that's another e-bike focused rack, that one's really difficult to tilt, and a lot of that weight of the rack is coming down on top of you after you pull the pins to tilt it, so it's not super safe, and I don't feel as comfortable doing it alone. Now, getting the bike unloaded is really straightforward, too. We've got a series of straps down on the wheels, and the big thing is the included ramp. It doesn't store on the bike rack, so you have to keep it in your car, but you can loosen up the hand knob, extend it out, and use this oval hole to slot in near the back of the tire, right there. And this will give us an easy way to lower the bike down without having to lift it. Now, it only attaches at the back end of the bike. So unfortunately for us today, we can't really show it because we have a wall in our way. But you just take that into account whenever you park with the bike rack, make sure you've got room on that side. And then once you've got the straps and the locking clamp up here undone, just loosen the hand knob and pivot it out of the way, you would be able to just roll the bike back like this down the ramp. And now obviously for us, we're gonna hit the wall, so I'm just gonna lift it and move it off the rest of the way. The ramp is really nice because it's super wide, so even if you have some wider tires, it's gonna fit on the ramp pretty well and be stable too. Again, comparing it to the Yakima on-ramp, that one also comes with a bike ramp, but it's a lot more narrow and just not as stable. And then this can slide back into itself tighten up so it's all secure, and you can put it back in the car. I always like to replace these straps whenever I'm done, just so it's nice and tidy. And then we can take, take some measurements. The first one we're gonna do is ground clearance. And you can see it's sort of a reverse U-shaped design here, so the lowest point at the back end is gonna be on the edge, and that's gonna give us 15 inches of ground clearance. Overall, that's pretty good clearance, but I would watch out for steep driveways and hills, just in case you do bottom out, but it should be okay. Our overall distance added to the back is gonna be a little under 30 inches, like 29 and three quarters. So it doesn't add a whole lot to the back of your vehicle, but if you wanna leave this in the hitch between rides, we have bikes unloaded, we can fold it up and save some space. Just come to the mast, pull off these straps, pop open the handles, fold down the mast, and then re-engage the handles and those straps to make sure the handles stay closed. Once that's done, we can come down the bike rack to this pin and retaining clip that we can pop off and pull, fold the rack upright, and then re-secure that pin and retaining clip down underneath with the newly aligned holes. Now, we're only gonna be sticking out about 13 inches, so it's a lot more compact and manageable. Some things to keep in mind with this though is that it does block your backup camera and a fair bit of your license plate, so you might just wanna be cautious of that. 
and it doesn't come too close to the bumper of your vehicle, so I'm not worried about vehicle contact. Moving down to the hitch, we've got our tool-free anti-rattle knob near the back that's going to actually draw the hitch pin, excuse me, pin into the hitch receiver and tighten everything up. Then that pin is locking, and it's key to like to those hand knobs up top so everything's under one system, and it's fitting in our two inch by two inch receiver tube. And overall, if you're looking for an e-bike rack that's gonna be really easy to use, easy to operate by yourself, and be able to carry some of those heavier e-bikes, this is definitely the way I would go, and it's a great fit on your Sorento. Thanks for watching.